Society is a group of people involved with each other through persistent relations, while culture provides guidelines to people on how to live. Different societies have different cultures, and here on Society and Culture Insights with the Miss Unique, we take those guidelines that we all live by and use them to get to the core of human truths and cultural tensions that we see among us every day. We analyze those guidelines and connect them with purpose in a way that's culturally relevant to all cultures. We're passionate about culture here on this podcast and give you a ton of ways to help you effectively live within a society that has several different cultures within it. So go grab your pen and paper because Miss Unique is here to give you some culture and society insights and today she's got a very detailed show. Let's hear what she has to say. Hello, wonderful listeners, and as we gear up for another captivating episode of Society and Culture Insights with Ms. Unique, I'm your host, Ms. Unique, and I want to kickstart your week with some motivation and practical tips to ensure it unfolds with positivity and productivity. Here's your Monday boost. Tip number one, start your week off with a gratitude practice. Reflect on the positive aspects of your life and jot down a few things you're thankful for. Cultivating gratitude sets a positive mindset for the week. Tip number two, take a moment to visualize achieving your goals. Picture the successful completion of your tasks and imagine the positive outcomes. Visualization can help boost confidence and motivation. Tip number three, If you want to break down your tasks into smaller, more manageable steps, focus on achieving one small win at a time. Celebrate these victories along the way to maintain momentum and help build confidence along the way. Tip number four, improve the quality of your sleep by implementing a digital detox before bedtime. Disconnect from screens at least 30 minutes before sleep to promote a better rest and waking up feeling refreshed and more rejuvenating. And tip number five, instead of waiting until the end of the week to reflect on how the week went, incorporate a brief reflection session into your schedule at the end of every day. Assess your achievements, identify areas for improvement, and set intentions for the following day. This proactive approach ensures a smoother transition into the next day and it helps to set a stage for productivity. Now, let's fast forward to the end of the week and as Friday approaches, remember to reflect on your accomplishments, celebrate successes, and tie up loose ends. It's not just about finishing the week, it's about concluding it with a sense of achievement and readiness for the next chapter. Let's go ahead and dive into today's topic. See, you're worried about the wrong things. This episode is for the worry warts. Are you a worst case scenario type of thinker and chronic worrier? You can't help fixating on what could go wrong in daily life. Then you, my dear, are a worry wart. And we're going to help you out today by providing tips on how to change that mindset and shift your priorities into focusing on things that bring you joy and positivity. In this episode, we'll unravel the habits of worry warts and explore the impact of constant worst case scenario thinking on mental well-being. But fear not, because we're not just here to identify the problem, we're coming with solutions today. You can discover practical strategies to break free from the chains of chronic worrying and shift your perspective towards a more optimistic outlook. We'll delve into the mindfulness techniques, cognitive restructuring, and proactive approaches to redirect your thoughts. Learn how to reframe challenges as opportunities, embrace uncertainty, and cultivate resilience in the face of life's uncertainties. So if you find yourself caught in the web or worry, join us on this empowering journey to reclaim your mental space, and let's bid farewell to the worst case scenarios and open the door to a mindset that fosters joy, gratitude, and a more positive engagement with the world. Stay tuned and let's embark on the path to a worry-free and fulfilling life together. Tired of feeling judged on social media? Ready for a judgment-free zone where your opinions are valued and you can be yourself? Welcome to FCFVA.com, your newest social hangout. No more getting in trouble or feeling trapped. We've got it all. Groups, private chats, and everything you love on that other book. Plus, no judgment here. 
Visit fcfva.com today where you're free to be you without fear. fcfva.com. It's a breath of fresh air in social media. Join us now and experience the freedom that you've been craving. Welcome back. And before the break, we set the stage for today's episode that's dedicated to the worry warts among us, running around worried about the wrong things. Now let's delve into the very essence of worry and explore what it means to be a worry ward. At its core, worry is a cognitive process that involves concerns about future events, often dwelling on potential negative outcomes. A worry wart, on the other hand, is someone who habitually engages in chronic worrying, unable to shake off the persistent thoughts of doom and gloom. And oftentimes, these worry warts not only dwell on their problems, but others also, causing them to be worried about the wrong things. I don't know about you, but one person, what they do, it doesn't make me shit. So why would I be worried about what's going on over there? Chronic worrying, often referred to as generalized anxiety or chronic anxiety, well it's a persistent and excessive pattern of apprehensive thoughts and concerns about various aspects of life. Individuals who experience chronic worrying tend to anticipate negative outcomes and often find it challenging to control or stop these anxious thoughts. This state of heightened worry is not limited to a specific event or circumstance, instead it becomes a pervasive and ongoing aspect of our daily lives. People dealing with chronic worrying may find themselves preoccupied with potential future problems, even if the likelihood of those problems is minimal. The worries can range from personal health and relationships to work-related issues and global concerns. Chronic worrying can manifest as physical symptoms such as muscle tension, restlessness, irritability, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating. The persistent nature of chronic worrying distinguishes it from normal occasional concerns. It can significantly impact your mental health, leading to heightened stress levels, anxiety disorders, and a reduced quality of life. Breaking free from chronic worrying often involves cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness techniques, and lifestyle changes to manage your stress. Addressing those root causes and adopting healthy coping mechanisms are essential steps towards easing the burden of chronic worrying and fostering a more balanced and mental state. Let's take a quick break and hear a word from one of our sponsors. And if you haven't yet, go on and grab that cup of joe on your way back. Are you ready to take control of your financial journey? We all know the importance of managing our money wisely. That's where Budget Buddy comes in. Budget Buddy is the ultimate budgeting app designed to make financial management a breeze. With Budget Buddy, you can effortlessly track your expenses, set clear financial goals, and gain a crystal clear view of where your money is going. No more guesswork, no more financial stress. Budget Buddy puts you in the driver's seat of your finances, helping you make informed decisions and build a more secure financial future. So why wait? Start your journey towards a better financial management today. Download Budget Buddy from your app store and begin taking charge of your money. Budget Buddy, your ultimate financial companion. See, you're worried about the wrong things. I don't know about y'all, but I got a lot on my plate. So I don't have time to worry about someone else and what they got going on. And I sure as crap don't want to begin worrying about what I've got going on. And so let's get into it. Constant worst case scenario thinking, also known as catastrophic thinking, can have profound and detrimental effects on your mental well-being. Here are some of the key impacts. It can increase anxiety and stress cause negative thought patterns, have you to have impaired decision-making problems. It can impact your relationships, your physical health, cause sleep disturbances, diminish your quality of life, and increase susceptibility to your mental health. Now what all this means is that 
Constantly envisioning the worst case outcomes of scenarios in various situations elevates your anxiety levels. The mind remains in a state of heightened alar alertness and alarm, which leads to chronic stress, which can in turn cause negative effects, both mental and physically. Persistent worst case scenario thinking reinforces negative thought patterns. Over time, these patterns become ingrained, making it challenging to see situations in a more balanced or positive of light. Chronic worriers may struggle with decision making as the fear of negative consequences can lead to indecision or avoidance. This can hinder personal and professional growth and contribute to a sense of stagnation. Constant worrying can strain your relationships because the anticipation of negative outcomes may result in increased irritability, difficulty trusting others, and give you a tendency to perceive benign situations as threatening. Prolonged stress from worst case scenario thinking can, can contribute to physical health issues such as headaches, muscle tension, digestive problems, and weakened immune function. Your body and your mind are connected and this connection plays a significant role in your overall well-being. Anxiety and worry can interfere with your sleep which leads to difficulties falling asleep or staying asleep. Poor sleep quality can further exacerbate your mental health challenges, creating a cycle of distress. Chronic worrying can significantly reduce the overall quality of your life. The constant focus on negative outcomes can overshadow positive experiences, making it more difficult for individuals to enjoy and appreciate the present moment. Persistent worst case scenario thinking is a common feature of various mental health disorders, including generalized anxiety disorder. If left undressed, chronic worrying can contribute to the development or exasperation of your mental health conditions. Recognizing these impacts is crucial for individuals who engage in constant worst case scenario thinking. Seek support, whether through therapy, mindfulness practices, or other coping strategies. This can help break the cycle and promote a more positive and balanced mental well-being. So, how can you begin addressing these root causes of your worry? Well, we're going to discuss that right after we return after this break. Hey, are you a business owner? Is your phone system sounding a bit 90s? Are your internet moving at a snail's pace? It's time to upgrade and get back in the fast line. And guess what? We've got the solution for you. SM Telecommunications, we make upgrading your business phone systems and internet fun, easy, and oh so affordable. Just reach out to us and we'll have your systems purring like a sports car. Visit smtelecommunications.com today and say goodbye to outdated tech woes. Has some telecommunications where your upgrade journey begins with a smile. Get in touch now and let's turbocharge your business. And we're back. Addressing the root causes and adopting healthy coping mechanisms are fundamental steps in mitigating the burden of chronic worrying and cultivating a more balanced mental state. Understanding and targeting the underlying factors contribute to persistent worry, which is crucial for effective intervention. So here's a closer look at these essential steps that you can take to address those root causes of your worries. Number one, identify the root cause. You can do this through self-reflection or introspection. Individuals need to explore the origins of their chronic worrying. This may involve identifying past traumas, unresolved issues, or patterns of negative thinking that contributes to persistent anxiety. You can also seek professional help as mental health professionals can help provide valuable insights into the root causes of your chronic worrying via through assessments, counseling, or other therapeutic interventions. You can assess it and address it through cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT. This is a well-established therapeutic approach that addresses negative thought patterns and behaviors associated with chronic worrying. It helps individuals recognize distorted thinking, challenge irrational beliefs, and develop more healthier cognitive responses to st stressful situations. 
you always hear me say mindfulness and meditation um, these two techniques can take you a long way in life not just with worrying but just overall because these techniques promote and present a moment awareness practicing mindfulness and meditation will help you to observe your thoughts without judgment reducing the impact of negative thinking patterns Mindfulness can also enhance emotional regulation, leading to a more measured response to challenging situations. Learn to manage your stress and adopt effective stress management strategies. This may include incorporating regular physical ex exercise, practicing relaxation techniques, and ensuring sufficient sleep. Creating a healthy work-life balance is essential in reducing overall stress levels. Nutrition plays a role in mental well-being, and a well-balanced diet with adequate nutrients supports your overall health, including your brain function. Limiting your caffeine intake and alcohol can help positively impact your anxiety levels, as excessive consumption of these can contribute to heightened stress. I drink coffee all day, y'all. Sometimes I'm stressed, sometimes I'm not. Uh, I gotta see what it's gonna do if I limit it. Establishing a reliable support system is key. Sharing your worries amongst others with your trusted friends, family members, or mental health professional will help to provide a more emotional validation and, and practical assistance. Social connections can serve as a buffer against stress and contribute to a sense of belonging. You can set realistic goals along the way and break them down into more manageable steps. This helps to foster a sense of accomplishment and reduces overwhelming feelings. Developing problem-solving skills enables individuals to approach challenges in a structured and effective manner, and this minimizes the likelihood of catastrophic thinking. Prioritize your self-care. This is always vital in everything that you do. You can engage in activities that bring joy, relaxation, and fulfillment, which helps to contribute to a more positive mindset. Take breaks along the way. You can pursue new hobbies and incorporate leisure into your daily routines as an integral component of self-care. By addressing root causes of your worrying and adopting these healthy coping mechanisms, you can gradually shift your mindset away from chronic worrying and towards a more balanced and resilient mental state. Seeking professional guidance can provide personalized strategies tailored to your specific needs, facilitating a journey towards sustained well-being. When we return from this break, we're going to give you tips on how you can change that mindset and shift your power teas into focusing on things that bring you joy and positivity. Are you dreaming of that unforgettable vacation but worried about your budget? Well, we have the solution for you. Introducing affordable travel where your dream trips become a reality without breaking the bank. Imagine exploring exotic destinations, relaxing on pristine beaches, or discovering new cultures, all without the financial stress. Well, now you can. With our exclusive travel packages, you can pay for your dream vacation over time, making it easy on your wallet. Visit RashondaMatthews.IntelliTravel.com today and unlock a world of unaffordable travel opportunities waiting just for you don't let your dream vacation slip away start planning your affordable adventure now visit rashondamatthews.intellitravel.com and turn your travel dreams into memories affordable travel your adventure your way Changing a mindset focused on constant worry and shifting priorities towards joy and positivity requires intentional effort and practice. So here are some practical tips to facilitate this mindset shift. Tip number one, practice mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness exercises such as meditation or deep breathing. This helps bring your attention to the present moment, reducing the tendency to dwell on future uncertainties. Tip number two, challenge negative thoughts. You can actively challenge and reframe your negative thoughts when you catch yourself catastrophizing. Ask yourself if there's evidence to support those thoughts and consider more balanced perspectives. Tip number three, you can start a gratitude journal. Each day you can write down a few things that you're grateful for, focusing on positive aspects of your life. This can help shift your mindset towards appreciation and joy. 
Tip number four, surround yourself with positivity and decorate your living space with things that bring you joy, such as uplifting quotes, photos of cherished moments, or vibrant colors. Tip number five, establish daily rituals and incorporate them into your daily routine. This could include morning affirmations, a moment of reflection before bed, or dedicating time to activities that you enjoy. Tip number six, establish achievable and realistic goals for yourself. Celebrate your small victories along the way and recognize your accomplishments. This helps to foster a sense of achievement and positivity. Tip number seven, make time for hobbies and activities that bring you joy, whether it's reading, painting, or spending time in nature. Allocating time for activities that you love is essential for a positive mindset. Tip number eight, evaluate and limit exposure to sources of negativity, whether it's certain people, news, or social media accounts. Be mindful of the content that you consume, whether because that does help impact your mindset. And you can spend time with positive, supportive individuals. Social connections play a significant role in shaping our mindset, so prioritize your relationships that uplift and inspire you. Tip number 10, practice self-compassion and treat yourself with the same kindness and understand that you would offer to someone else. Acknowledge that everyone experiences setbacks and it's okay not to be perfect. Tip 11, focus on solutions instead of fixating on problems. Shift your mindset towards shifting solutions. Finding those solutions helps to identify those actionable steps that you can take to address challenges, empowering you to create positive change. And you can view those challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Shift your perspective from seeing obstacles as roadblocks to recognizing them as stepping stones towards personal development. Remember, the change in a mindset is a gradual process and a consistency is going to always be key. Experiment with these tips, discover what works best for you, and embrace this journey to a a more positive and joyful outlook on life. Stop having your face all up in everybody else's business and worried about stuff that does not pertain to you and focus more on yourself. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Society and Culture Insights with Ms. Unique. We've explored the intricacies of chronic worrying, unraveled its impact on mental well-being, and most importantly, we delved into actionable strategies to break free from the chains of constant worst-case scenario thinking. Remember, the power to shift your mindset lies within you. By addressing root causes, embracing healthy coping mechanisms, and fostering a focus on joy and positivity, you can cultivate a more balanced mental state. It's about recognizing the patterns that hold you back and actively choosing thoughts and actions that contribute to a happier, more fulfilling life. As you navigate the week ahead, implement these tips, celebrate the small victories, and be kind to yourself. The journey toward a positive mindset is a continuous process and every step counts. I hope that today's episode has provided you with valuable insights and practical tools to reshape your perspective. Join us again for our next exploration into the diverse faucets of society and culture. And until then, prioritize self-care, embrace joy, stop worrying about stuff that doesn't pertain to you, and remember that your well-being is a journey worth investing in. Goodbye for now and take care.